What is going on guys? Ronnie here with USA Digi and in this episode of Marketing Hacks, I'm going to show you what I learned about the API key not bringing your subscribers to day one in the sequence and I'm going to show you how to fix it and it starts right now. Okay guys, so I discovered a little glitch in the system here. We're in the matrix. So yeah, so what's going on is I'm using Optimized Press, and if you're familiar with using Optimized Press with Get Response, you usually just set up your API key, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second in the email marketing services section. But what's going on for some reason in version two, this was working fine. I didn't have any issues with this. Every time someone would opt in to my API using the API feature, what would happen is they'll go to day zero. For some reason in API version V3, forget response, it's not sending them to day zero. It's adding them to the list, but it's not sending them to the autoresponder sequence. So I contacted get response. Uh, I talked to someone called Krishnan there, and this is what she told me. So I wrote this down, so I'm gonna bring this up right quick. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and read this. I'm gonna let you see it right here on the screen while I read it. So the only autoresponder portion done in Get Response is creating the autoresponder messages on the list, you know, that your contacts sign up to. Makes sense, right? I mean, that's what you're supposed to do. However, by default, they are not automatically added to the autoresponder sequence unless your opt-in method is by web form or landing page with Get Response. And you have to make sure that it's set up in the settings to do that, basically. So the other option is your API integration has that feature enabled. So there's nowhere in Optimized Press to enable that type of feature. Not in the web form, not in the settings, not in the global settings. I've looked for all of that stuff, there's nothing. It says also, she wrote, if you are not seeing that on the Optimized Press integration, then you need to check with them to see how that is enabled. So I'm definitely gonna contact Optimize Press. So what I'm gonna show you right now is a fix for this right now, because chances are that it's not working for you either. So you always wanna test this, guys. This is very important. If you're doing any kind of solo ads and you're paying for solo ads, you don't wanna lose money, right? Because you will eventually lose money if these people aren't getting their follow-up sequences, right? They're not gonna hear from you, and then when you start finally getting it to work, right? They're gonna think that you're spamming them because they already forgot who you were. So this is very important to test out. So when I create an opt-in form, I always opt in, you know, into it myself to make sure that I'm getting emails. And I wanna make sure that it's coming into my inbox and not going to spam. If it is going to spam, then I make a few tweaks here and there with the wording or whatever to make sure that it gets delivered into the inbox, right? However, I wanted to show you what I had to do right now in the meantime until this little issue is fixed. Now guys, if you know how to make this API key work properly, please leave it in your comments below. Uh, if you have a video that shows how to make it work properly, that's even better, leave the link in the comments below. What I'm gonna show you today is a pretty easy fix. It just takes a little more time. It's a pain in the ass to have to do extra work, right? Why have to do extra work? This should be working like it's supposed to. I'm gonna show you the difference that I noticed. So let's go right now into Optimize Press. So we're in the global settings here. Okay, we're gonna to go to Email Marketing Services, but I scroll down to get response. So there's two versions here. Now this is the old version, right? Now in the old version, there's also a get response custom API calls URL, okay? I'm not sure what that is. If any of you guys know what that feature is, please leave it in the comments and let me know because I'd like to know a little bit more about it. But I'm thinking because the new API version three here doesn't have this box. And this was working fine with version two. They were getting sent to day zero, okay? They were getting the opt-ins. Now, like I said, the API three does add them to the list, but it doesn't follow up with them for some reason. In the API version three, it's only this box here to put in your API key, that's it. And I'm kind of thinking that maybe this has something to do with it, why it's not working now, I don't know. But I do wanna contact, uh, I'm gonna send them actually today after I finish this video, I'm gonna send you know, Optimize Press uh, a support ticket about this and see what's going on and if they can fix it. So what I'm gonna show you right now is how to get around this. 
So if it's not working for me, chances are it's probably not working for you and you may not even know it. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna go over here back to get response and we're gonna create a form within here, okay? An easy fix. Because I wanna use this particular page uh, inside of Optimize Press here because I like the format, I like the uh, the way it looks and everything. I don't wanna use a landing page from Get Response. I wanna use this particular form. So this is how I'm gonna get it to work, right? So let me just open this right quick. Now this particular squeeze page or opt-in page or landing page or whatever you wanna call it, I call it a squeeze page or opt-in page sometimes, but uh, this has overlay optimizer in here. So basically two-step opt-in is what it means. So if you click a button, it opens the you know box where you can put in your email address and then click submit. So I have two on here, I have one button here, and if I scroll down, I have another button here, okay? So what I need to do in here is get inside the settings of each button, okay? So the pencil icon is to get inside of the element, which would be the opt-in form, and the box here is to customize the button itself, okay, this button. So we want to get inside from the opt-in form and correct this. So click the pencil icon again, so you can see I'm using the custom form, but Get Response API version three is available, okay? Now, like I said, I tried using version two in here because this is not a new site, but I just set up Optimized Press because I love Optimized Press. I've been using it for years. What I'm getting at here is it was working fine with my other sites. And I think it's still working fine with my other sites because I don't remember changing to API 3. I'm gonna have to go back and see. But if it's working, I really need to do some research on my other sites to see what's going on if, the, if it's actually working. And I haven't done that in a while because version two was still in effect until a certain amount of time. And I don't remember when it actually like totally stopped working. I don't know. So you see the form in here. So we're gonna have to use custom form, okay? So I'm gonna leave this. Let's go back to get response. We're gonna create the form. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on forms and surveys here. We wanna create a form, plain HTML. Okay, we're gonna use this version. So as you can see, this is a general plain HTML form, right? Here's a preview. Now it's not gonna look like this in Optimized Press because we're not using this actual form. We're just using the workings of the form inside of our other opt-in form, right? So let's go ahead and configure the settings over here. So we're gonna choose the list that we want this in. Okay, I'm just gonna pick this list for now. Very important. Make sure you check this box here so we can choose which day of the cycle that we want them sent to, right? So day zero, of course, that's what I want here. Okay, the next thing we wanna do is enable this custom thank you page URL. Okay, so let's talk about the custom thank you page URL for a little bit, because this is gonna be a little tip that I'm gonna give you guys, okay? And the way that I do things. Now, typically what people do is once they fill in this, they're gonna put like the thank you page to whatever it is. Okay, so if someone opts into your squeeze page, opt-in page, whatever you wanna call it, and then they go to the download page and download their freebie, and then you never pretty much hear from them again, because that's all they wanted, right? So what I like to do here, instead of actually sending them to the download page, unless of course they bought something and I was using the opt-in form to send them there, that would be something different. But this is just like opting in, okay? This is just to get them on the list. This isn't for anything being bought. Um, but what I like to do here is send them to a thank you page that says, thanks for subscribing. Please go ahead and check your email for the download link. And what this does is it's, the, it's getting them to start going to open their email and looking for my name, Ronnie Rock Smith. And then they go and check their email. When they see my emails, they're gonna, chances are they're gonna go ahead and open and see what it's about, right? So that's what I do there. Now, another thing I've been doing recently is using Click Magic, right? I've been using this for probably over a year now. And it's a tracking program. I'm gonna go ahead, if you're interested in this, I recommend using this, a very, very highly powerful tool, guys. It can help you with lots of different tracking. You can track Bing ads. Of Facebook ads, you can track your solo ads, which mostly what I do with it. I'm gonna leave a link in the description in case you guys wanna check it out. It's gonna be my affiliate link for that program. You know, you got, I think it gives you a 14 day trial, I think. 
so you can try it out before you buy it. It's worth every penny, guys. Go ahead and check it out. So what I've been doing is putting my tracking link in here. And the way that I track things is I'll use a solo ad, right? And I'll put the name of that solo ad vendor in there. And then he'll have a tracking link, okay? And that'll go to the opt-in form, all right? So the tracking link is going to go to the opt-in form. So what I do is I configure a pixel for that tracking link. Then I create another tracking link that's going to track that one, okay? And the reason I do that is because it eliminates having to use a bridge page. Now, <laughs> I learned this from Anthony uh, Mancuso, pretty good guy, very good friend of mine. And uh, it's a really good technique, saves a little bit of time of creating another page, a bridge page in between, because you need a pixel on a page for it to fire so that it can track your opt-ins, so to see how many opt-ins you're getting. And what it does is by using a, the tr second tracking link, what I'm talking about, the second one, I know this might be getting a little confusing. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, no, I'm not gonna do that in this video. I might make another video about that, how I use Quick Magic because it would make this video too long, okay? But I'll show you, I'll tell you what, I will make another video soon about click magic and show you guys how that works that would be a cool marketing uh hack video right because it's definitely something you should be using in your marketing business right now so anyway that's what i do there guys i put a clack <laughs> so anyway that's what i do right there guys i put a tracking link for the url okay let's go ahead if you hear some snoring that's my bulldog he sleeps in here in my office by me <laughs> and i hear him right now so let's go ahead and move on. So guys, so, so you want that thank you URL? Okay, watch over here. I'm gonna enter this URL. You're gonna see it spring up right here in this area right here in the form, okay? Just to show you how that works. I'm just gonna put Google right now. And then once I go ahead and click out, boom, there it is, it's in there. All right, so what you would do now, guys, is just copy this form, right click, copy, Go back over here and just paste it in, guys. You see, I already did this, so I'm not gonna do it again. But you just paste it in and you click insert, okay? And then make sure you click update. You know how optimized press works. And then click save and continue, right? Okay, so that about wraps up this video, guys, on this episode of Marketing Hacks. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this little tip helps you guys out to solve this API. And again, guys, remember, if you have any information on why this API key is not working, if you know how to fix it, leave it in your comments below, guys. Leave it in your comments. And if you have a video that shows, you know, something else besides with this API key on how to fix this issue or what's going on, leave that link in your comments as well. This will benefit others who are watching this video and we can all help each other, right guys? If this is your first time here, make sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you didn't like the video, uh, make sure to hit the bell icon so it can notify you of frequent videos when I upload. I also do product review videos that'll come out from time to time. And for my marketing hacks, I always put out free tips and tricks on this playlist here. So thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for your time and interest. I'm Ronnie Rock Smith with USA Digi, and guys, happy marketing. Oh! All the blood is rushing to my head. Hurry up, click another video.